guys, it's me, Raquel. Raquel. Um, this, okay, before, before I forget, because I do not want to forget this. This look is completely inspired by this Instagram girl. I'll put it here because I don't know how to pronounce her name. I saw this photo today and I was like, oh my god, that's the look I am doing. She is super talented, so be sure to check her out. So if you guys would like to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. First of all, ignore the furnace running. Second of all, I am going to be bringing to you Valentine's Day vibes today. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Starting off with my poreless primer by Benefit. Not sponsored. <laughs> I wish it was though. I'm just going to be applying this all over my face, mainly in my T-zone, on my nose. I can feel the hate comments coming. Anyways, so I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, foundation. You know how hard it is to get foundation out of clothing? For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. This is in the shade Vanilla. And then I'm just going to be using my beauty blender to blend all of that in. Okay, that is looking pretty Gucci Picasso, if you ask me. Before I go and put concealer on my face, I am going to do a liquid contour today, just to give that extra, like, chisel. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Pal Cream Kit. This is the light version. And just to make these creamier, I usually um, just give a dot of maracuja oil, but I don't have that downstairs with me today. So yeah, I'm just using the middle color here. Thank God. It just stopped recording, but anyways. I'm drawing lines on my face. I'm trying to be a geometrist. Few different ways you can blend, but I'm gonna use this disgusting multi-purpose quo brush. Quo, quo, q, quo, whatever it is. And I'm just gonna lightly, very lightly, because you do not want to take the product off, but just lightly kind of dab and slightly blend downwards. If you can hold one eye like this and keep the other one open, like this video. Okay, I hate blending my nose because literally when I blend it here, I always just get snot smearing all over my face and it's like the grossest thing ever. Like, not a cute look. For concealer today, I'm using the NARS Creamy, you know what it is, and it's in the shade Custard. Just to make my jaw pop a bit more, I like to put just a little dot of this here and then I'm using NARS vanilla just right under my eye just to really brighten it up Now I'm just going to bake my under eye so that everything looks nice and fake. <laughs> and now I'm just going to do my eyebrows, which I feel like I don't need to show because 
they take a long time so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now okay I'm back so I did my eyebrows and I finished this eye so now I'm just gonna do this eye with you guys and show you how to get this look just a heads up that there was a few ways I thought of doing this eye and I ended up going for like basically when I look straight on you can see all the hearts going like this way but I also thought of like when I look down having the hearts follow the crease but I ended up not doing that and I don't know I don't know what I would have liked better but I do like this look so yeah I'll show you how to do it. For this look, I am using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This is the really old version. I have not tried her new edition. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the color Sandal Wood, which is this orangey transition shade. And I'm just using a big fluffy Mikasa brush. And we're just gonna lightly go into that crease. Also, I'm really sorry if I'm kind of out of focus for this. So once we got that all in the crease, I'm just gonna grab a more detailed Mikasa blending brush, and this is the E320. Then I'm gonna go into the color Suede, which is this shade right here. I'm going to focus that close to my crease making sure not to blend that color too far up on the eye and really just keeping that close to the crease. Moving on with the crease, I do want some more definition in that crease, so I am just gonna quickly use my Zoeva smudger brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Coco. I'm just gonna get some of that color on the brush and put that right into the crease, just dabbing that all along the crease. Don't worry if it gets on the lid because um, we're doing a cut crease obviously with this look, so it's not gonna matter. Now taking the Mikasa brush that we just used before, I'm just gonna blend that all in. Once again, keeping that brush very close to the crease because we don't want to blend the color too far up. I like to do little circles with my brush sometimes too, just to work out that color. Now we are going to go down to the bottom lash line. And here I'm going to start out with the color Man Eater. I am taking my MAC pencil brush and I am just going along my lower lash line. And then I am working the color up just in as straight of a line as I can towards my brow. It's a bit long. That's a bit longer than I wanted, but I had that problem on the other eye and I just tried to blend it out the best that I could. Now I'm going to take my Mikasa little brush again and we're just going to blend to the best of our abilities. So this side is looking quite a bit longer than this side. All I'm gonna do to fix that is take some of this MAC pressed powder and I'm gonna take my fluffy Mikasa brush. I'm just gonna put that in the powder and try to kind of diffuse that color. Continuing with that lower lash line, I'm going to go into the color Bossy. And I'm using my Zoeva smudger brush. I'm just gonna put that color right under the lash line. Once again, I'm just gonna blend that, making sure it's a little smoothed out. And now, using my trusty Claire's brush that I've used for so many years, I'm gonna go into the color Coco, just like before. We are keeping this very, very close to the lash line. So now I'm just gonna blend all of that together. So now we get to do my favorite part, which is the cut crease. Just kidding, it's not my favorite part because I hate doing it, but we gotta do it. So I'm using my NARS concealer. This is the shade Light from before, and I'm using this little eyeliner brush from Bobbi Brown. So I'm just gonna take some of the concealer onto the brush, and we're gonna go in. I like to start on the lid of the eye just to get the most of the color off. So just 
just on top of that concealer, I'm going to pat on the color Bay. And it's actually very crucial to put a color over top of your cut crease, like some type of powder, just to make sure that it stays where it needs to be. And this way, throughout the day, you're not going to get creasing, color isn't going to move around, all that fun stuff. I'm going to quickly tight line my eye with a black pencil liner. And I'm just making sure that I do that before we move on to the eyeliner because otherwise everything will kind of smudge around and that won't be so good. For eyeliner today, I'm using the NYC eyeliner. This is so similar to the NYX liquid eyeliner, but this one lasts me so much longer than the NYX one ever did. So I would highly recommend this. And this part I might get out of frame because I'm really bad at doing this on camera. is rough but you get the you get the idea now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do my lashes for mascara i'm using the mark jacobs mascara i just realized that on my other eye i actually put the hearts on before i do the mascara so maybe um you should do it that way but if you forget to that's also fine because it'll work no matter what you do i hope we're gonna find out what I'm using is actually a MAC glitter. It's the Pink Hearts glitter thing. I don't know, it's from MAC and I got it like last year, but I'm sure they still have it. In this little container, there's red, pink, and like a holographic looking type of heart. So I went red, pink, holographic. I just kept like, you know, repeating that on the eye. And for the glue for this, I'm using a really dingy face shop glue. It's like a Korean brand, but it basically just has the little brush tip, which makes things a lot easier. So I've just been brushing that, dotting it onto my eye, and then taking the heart that I want with my tweezers and popping it on there. I will show you the process in a second. I take the tip of my tweezers just onto the heart, and I hold this in my hand, and then while I'm doing that, take the glue and it's really old so it's kind of already pretty tacky and disgusting but I try to get a goop tip <laughs> and then I'm just putting the color where did I start? I started like right there and then I'm just getting a good blob not too big because you don't want uh, the glue to overflow and all I'm doing is I'm taking the heart and popping that on So we're just gonna do that all along. I keep like a little bit of a distance away from each other and while I was doing it on this eye I kept my face straight so that I could see where I should be putting the rest. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera just because it's really tedious and my camera will most likely die. So yeah, I'll see you once I finish putting all the parts on my eye. For lashes today, I'm using the JC Luxury Lashes. These are amazing. These are synthetic lashes. They're cruelty free and 10% of their proceeds go to a global or local animal organization. And by the way, I'm just using duo glue on these. And there we go for the eyes. I really think these lashes just completed the look. By the way, this is the style Riri. Why did I decide to do a middle part? Now I look like a little animal. Oh, my nose is looking hella dark. <laughs> it looks a little scary. To finish off this look, we're just gonna use some bronzer, some blush, and highlight. For the bronzer, as usual, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Honestly, this is the best bronzer for Valentine's Day just because it smells like chocolate. And it'll just remind you of all the chocolate that you're about to eat. I know back when I was single, I would even just buy chocolate for myself. Well, actually, I wasn't single. I always had a boyfriend, but like they would, they would always break up with me like right before Valentine's Day. So anytime that happened, I would just buy myself chocolate, like Valentine's Day chocolate and like spoil myself. Just because like, I don't know, like you gotta be there for yourself too, right? Like self-love. Like, Valentine's Day is all about love, so I just thought, you know, self-love, it's fine. And now I'm just gonna blend it all out. If you guys bought your special someone anything special for Valentine's Day, leave a comment and let me know what it is. 
pro tip if you're actually doing this look for Valentine's Day and you want to look good, I would just add some powder like right here just to chisel it out. But I'm tired and I don't want to, so we're going to skip that part. Don't think this is being sold anymore, but they should have each individual color still on the market. This is the Becca Apres Ski Glow Palette. Apres? Apres Ski Glow Palette? I don't even know how they pronounce that. I'm not French. I learned French in school, but like Canadian things, you know? From this palette, I'm just going to use the blush. The blush is the color Winter Berry. So, I mean, they probably don't have that, but it's a pink. It's like this. I was going to use the NARS Orgasm Blush, so I would use that as a substitute. This is really strong, but we want those cheeks to be nice and pink. I kind of want like a more blushy look just because I kind of want to look like oof, like I really want some pink color in my face. But if that is too much for you, feel free to take a brush and swipe off some of that color. However, I'm going for the crazy clown look today. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the Rose Quartz Becca highlighter, which is also in this palette. It's just like a light pinky type of highlighter. One thing I just realized I forgot to do is the inner corner highlight on this side. All I did was take some of the Opal Becca color, which is like really white, and just put that on this side. And I'm also going to put some on my brow bone. Now, my favorite part, which is the last step, and that is the lipstick. I'm going to use Boldly Bare. This is like my go-to and it's looking pretty flat and I don't know where my sharpener is. So we're just gonna go in with it. This is the color Pink Tourmaline. Tourmaline? I don't know if I'm even, I don't, you know what? It's a lip gloss, it's pink. I'll leave it down below, it's from Anastasia. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lips. So this is the end result guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you learned something from it today. If there is something else you would like me to film, just let me know and I'll be sure to film it for you guys. And that's it for this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Don't know how to end my videos. <laughs>